Hello, everybody, and welcome back to our novel study of The Great Gatsby. Today, we're going to be talking about taking notes on the chapter for Great Gatsby. Sometimes taking notes on a novel is really overwhelming because you don't know what is important yet. And so what I have provided is guided notes for you. These guided notes are really beautiful and fun, and you have the option to print them out and take pictures to submit them, or you can do them right in a Google Doc and submit them as a PDF. I don't accept them in any other ways. Please don't send me the link. Sometimes I can't open your links, and that's why you need to save it as a PDF and then download it. So we are reading chapter one of The Great Gatsby and, and we just annotated it. So you should be able to answer these questions now. We also are going to have to do some outside research for this very first one because these are some pre-reading um, uh, workbooks. So what you're going to do is you can watch this video. This is going to link to a video and you can also go do some research on the web for some of the questions, and then you can include a link to the article for the submissions. For the chapter summaries, all you need is the novel itself. So you can always just read The Great Gatsby. So let's look at the student workbook. Okay, it's gonna prompt you to make a copy. Now, assuming that you have already completed your annotation assignment, um, you can do that. But let's make sure we're sharing. This was um, here. I just clicked on this. It prompts me to make a copy. And then now I have a copy of this assignment that I can work in. And it is very lovely and helpful. So um, it's a little difficult to read. So I recommend making it a little bit bigger so that you can read it. And then here is where we're going to fill out some background information. Like I said, this is going to require a little bit of outside research for you, but you want to look up some details about F. Scott Fitzgerald. You also might want to um, think about how his biography influenced the themes of the novel. You can look up about the American dream. You can look up information about the Roaring Twenties and the Jazz Age and go through these questions. And all you do is click on these text boxes and you can start typing within the text box. All right. So you want to answer in complete sentences. So here you want to say like prohibition was and then write that down. And if you are um, going to quote an outside source, you still need to restate it in your own words. So please don't just copy and paste things from the web, but make sure that you include a citation if you do use something from the web. I will see more citations in this portion than anywhere else in the whole book. From here, we're going to um, look at some statements about the Roaring Twenties or about topics that the novel has to do with. And we're going to create um, a, a statement, see if we agree or disagree with it and do explanation. In this instance, we're going to drag and drop this X. So money will bring you happiness. Do you agree or do you disagree? So you're going to put it wherever it falls and then you're going to write your explanation why. And that's what you're going to do on this page. So um, love, love and romance are very different things. And then we go ahead and write whether we agree or we disagree. Okay. And one more time on this. This is all pre-reading stuff. Issues of identity, memories of past, money and materialism, etc. Chapter one, these chapter summaries are going to come straight from the book. So um, you're just going to decide who is uh, writing, who is the perspective of the book from. Is it first person, second person, third, or limited? And you're going to move this X to wherever you think it should go. And then you should answer these questions. All right. Um, you're going to summarize what happens in the chapter here. You're going to read this quote and then you're going to write about it. And you're going to look at this. Someone has also wanted you to write these. So this is going to be really easy for you. You're going to just look at your, um, your, some of your vocabulary from chapter one, and you're going to copy and paste those terms. So this is great reinforcement of your vocabulary terms. And then we're just going to go ahead and answer all of these um, prompts, um, write your first uh, first impression of the character, and then include a quote from the characters. So each chapter is going to have a similar workbook to this. Um, I wanted to make sure that your workbook was beautiful and was really fun to look at and was more exciting than just answering questions. That way you could enjoy the process 
of filling out this workbook as you're reading. So you are more than welcome to print this out and take these notes as you're reading or finish a chapter and then go ahead and go through this. You're going to be working through two chapters each week with the exception of the first week where you're going to do some pre, um, pre-reading pre questions um, about the background information about the novel. And that is your note taking. Once you've completed each one of these boxes, you're going to turn that in. Um, by this time, you should start feeling really good about this reading. You're not just reading and forgetting, but you're really digging deep into the text and understanding it. And that's going to help you to answer your comprehension questions. Alrighty, I will see you all in the next video.